questions sound fun! <laughs> Welcome to the Builder Factory! You're probably wondering why you're in this place! It's just because the game designer wanted the level to be small! My name is Phil Dern, and today I'm going to be your worst nightmare! <laughs> Guide through the game mechanics! Let's start with the basics! Follow me! You know what to press, don't you? The tool wheel is available under the scroll, or under the left bumper on the gamepad. Try it now! Under the Q key, you'll always have a task list available regardless of the game mode. As soon as you move the controller, the game swaps the controls to it. This way you'll never get lost. Fantastic! My maker always said that everything needs a solid base. Let's start with foundation. Select a shovel from the tool wheel and dig the area for foundations. On the bill goes round and round. Form works and reinforcements. As a real builder, you have to use the store to get the materials you need to build. Press tab or select on gamepad to open the store. Good job! Choose the first store available. Now on the left is a list of available categories according to the stage of construction. You can change the number of items you want to buy to 1, 10, or 100. Buy 100 formworks and reinforcements. This kind of building you can construct. A lighthouse! insert them in the blink of an eye? Each stage of construction shows holograms to help you visually indicate which stage you are currently at. You know the joke about how one person works and the rest just watch? You just became part of it. Great! Next up is reinforcement. Same principle as with formworks. Click for hold. the creme de la creme! Pouring the foundations! Go to the wheelbarrow and pour concrete over the foundations. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, Builders waiting just for you! Thank you. 
what is the lightest kind of building you can construct? A lighthouse! by turning on the concrete mixer. You will lose one dollar for each second you leave the concrete mixer on. So make it quick and effective. All the ingredients you need can be found around the concrete mixer. Above the concrete mixer, there are the ingredients you need to create a mortar. Start with the sand. Take your shovel and put some in. Next up, you need a sand. You 
can do this in two ways. Either by the shovel or by the wheelbarrow. Go to the sand pile and pick up some sand with your shovel. Then place it in the floor.
fantastic! Now it's time to pick up mortar. You can find it in the wheelbarrow. Select trowel and pick up mortar from the wheelbarrow. Once collected, it remains on the trowel until the resource in the wheelbarrow is exhausted. That way you don't have to go back and forth. You're taking notes from the last demo, huh? In Builder Simulator, we have a leveling system that allows you to build houses faster the more you build them. Try it out by placing the first hollow block. Use the trowel to lay the mortar on the hollow block. Great! Now place the hollow block on it. Level up! I never thought someone would level up from the first hollow block. Now you've unlocked double hollow block placement. Give it a try. If we were real friends, I'd have really concrete advice for you. up again! Holy trowel! Let's see what happens now! Amazing! It reminds me of the Egyptian buildings I have in my data! Let's put up the scaffolding! Scaffolding will be very helpful when working at heights! Select a scaffolding from the tool wheel! You can rotate it by clicking the right mouse button or left trigger. And not only that, you can also move it very precise with the scroll wheel. Good work! You can climb the ladder by clicking on it. I'll tell you a secret about layer 12. The 12th layer is the lintel layer! Ever heard of it? Its task is to transfer the weight from the opening to the adjacent walls. Above every doors and windows, you need to place one. Buy one lintel from the shop. Right. It's time to place it in the hologram. Fabulous! Part of the walls is to set the ceiling when you reach the right height. Ceiling holograms will automatically appear when you fill in the blocks on the last layer. And this is the moment when you have to place the ceiling blocks. Buy 20 ceiling blocks from the shop. Some would say the sky's the limit. But for us, it's ceiling blocks on each level. <laughs> Enough dad jokes. Put the ceiling blocks in the hologram. Extraordinary. After your work, dismantle your scaffolding with drill. This way, when your house is built and beautiful, you can take a picture of it. Yes, we do have photo mode. Partition walls. See you later. What? Is Welcome back. Eager to learn more? Today you will learn how to insert doors and windows. It's pretty cool and easy. Follow me. Every building needs a door to enter and windows to bring light into the house. Our game is no different. Remember from the previous stage when you inserted the lintels? You don't have to do it this time. But you need to know that they are the reason we can put in doors and windows. Let's start with doors. Buy one outside door. Great! Select it from the inventory and look at the entrance of the house. You 
may notice that the door is in the wrong position. Adjust it using the scroll bar. Hologram will turn green when it's done. The spirit level moves with the door and will show you the correct position when the door lights up green. Great job! Now you have to screw in the hinges. Choose a drill and insert the necessary screws. All the screws that need to be screwed in always light up in orange. Imagine using a screwdriver. Now it's time for wedges. Simply fill them in by clicking on the highlighted areas. Now you know how to insert a door. You can even open and close them by clicking on them. Don't worry about the phone, we'll talk about it later. Amazing! Let's move on to windows. There are two types of windows. Any window under two meters on the planner is a standard home window. Likewise, any window over two meters is already a patio window. You dictate the terms on the planner and choose what size windows you want to insert. For the purposes of the tutorial, you will insert a single window. Buy one window from the shop. Nicely done! Now try inserting them just like a door. Same principle, same fun! Now it's time to put in all the screws you need. Next step, insert the wedges. Insert them by simply clicking on the hologram. Support wedges are used to support and stabilize the window in the window opening. Did you see how the foam filled itself after the wedges were inserted? We thought that doing it manually would be boring, so we automated it. Remember that every window requires a sill or threshold. Adjust it like you did with window and door. Great! Look at the patio window next to you. You can see the difference. That's everything for doors and windows. Remember, you decide how you want your house to look. See you in the next stage. Ah, my friend. Partition walls are my hobby. My neighbors also love to hear the drill. Ask them. They'll tell you all about it. <laughs> Let's go to the training room. Partitions separate rooms from each other and should, therefore, have the best possible sound insulation properties. Let's start with plasterboard walls. Of course, you have to mark them on the planner first. But for the purpose of the tutorial, on the partition walls themselves, we've already determined them. You're welcome. To build a wall, you need floor, ceiling, and wall profiles. Buy 100 profiles in the shop. Great! Now place them in the holograms and screw them in with a drill. Want to hear a construction joke? Wait, I'm still working on it. Whoa. 
Good job! Now we have something to screw the plasterboard to! Isn't that amazing? By 100 plasterboards! Well done! Now place them on one side. Looks great! After installing the plasterboard, you'll need to use nails to attach it. Take your drill out and screw it in. Nice! Every wall needs to be insulated. Rock wool is often used to do that. Buy 20 rock wools in the shop. Excellent! To lay the plasterboard on the other side of the wall, you must first lay insulation between them. Select it from the inventory and insert it in the missing places. Lovely! Attach one more plasterboard on the other side. Partition walls are insulated. The profiles must be fixed to the floors and ceiling, and the plasterboards to the profiles. There's also a second type of partition wall. Concrete partition walls. Assembly is very different. First, you need to lay a damp-proof course. By 20 insulation. Now place it on the ground. Remember what you've done with bearing walls? You need some mortar. You'll find it in the wheelbarrow. Once the mortar has been collected on the trowel, it remains until you've exhausted the stock in the wheelbarrow. Pretty cool, right? It took our game designers way too long to figure out this solution. Place mortar! Everything's ready for concrete blocks. Don't forget the lintel over the door. Buy 100 concrete blocks and one lintel. You won't need as much, but you never know when inflation will get to the DIY markets. Build a concrete partition wall. Which country has the best construction? Ukraine! Get it? The wheel on the bill goes round and round. Superb work! One more fun thing is that.
that you can destroy them! But first, you have to mark with an eraser which wall you want to destroy on the planner. This time I'll do it for you automatically. Got your back, Jack! If you are not happy with the partition walls, take a hammer in your hand and destroy them! You can precisely move the stairs to the right and left. Amazing! Hmm, the more I look at them, I think they don't fit. As I am not annoying at all, I will pretend to be your favorite customer who does not know what he likes. You need to change them. Psst. This also applies to game and software development. Tear them down with your hammer! Nice! Now buy different stairs in the shop. You're quick! Place the stairs again. See how simple and satisfying it is? In this way, you're able to test different solutions immediately without having to monotonously build up the entire structure. We want you to have fun after all! Thank you, and see you later! Hey, hey, hey! Next stage is surely gonna raise the roof! Follow me! It's not rocket science that every building needs a roof! In our game, you can build several types of roof. Starting with the simplest and most modern flat roof. Ending with multi-slope roofs. For the purposes of tutorial, let's try hip roofs. First, you need to buy a proper blueprint in the shop. Open the store and buy hip roof blueprint. Excellent! When you choose it and look at the top of the building, you will notice a hologram. Use the scroll bar or arrows on the controller to adjust the roof angle. Confirm it when you're done. Great! All you need now are roof beams. Buy some roof beams from the store. Nice! Now your task will be to complete all the necessary roof beams in the hologram. Remember that you can build scaffolding when working at heights. Health and Safety Department is crossing their fingers! Mia! <laughs> 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 
is intense! Mineral wool, insulation, and plasterboard will be completed automatically so as not to create another phone clicker. We highly respect your time. Just kidding! More berry balls! <laughs> Back to the subject. You've already prepared the roof for the tiles. Buy a lot of roof tiles. Superb! Put tiles on the roof. during rain and snow melt. But this is already part of the finishing work. See you in the next stage! Welcome to the source of our game! We call it Planner because it helps you design any house you want, which you then build! Sounds great! You can save your projects, and if you want to, share them with other Players. How cool is that? I will guide you through the various options available. We will plan the house we have prepared to teach you how to do it. You have four tools to use. Cursor, eraser, and add remove floor. Cursor is set by default. You can find help with every element and tool on the top left corner of the screen. Try to hide and show the help panel. Good job! Let's start with the load-bearing walls. Select them from the elements. You can create walls in a line or rectangle by pressing Shift or X on the controller. Draw the load-bearing walls! Let's draw the partition walls. We work on a small plot of land, so we cannot overdo. Remember that there are three plot sizes available in the game. Amazing! I think we still need a piece of concrete partition wall. Draw a piece of concrete partition wall! Great! Uh, what else we might need? Windows! After all, everybody likes to peep at their neighbors! The windows are of different sizes. Increase or decrease them as desired. The largest windows are terrace windows. Insert four windows! of the door opening. See the help panel for available options. Looks nice! Now we need to add an external door to get inside. You can check anytime whether the building meets the minimum criteria. 
criteria. Now let's put the stairs in. You are free to rotate them, but for the purpose of the tutorial, place them in the indicated position. by clicking on the option available next to the eraser. Great! Now you can move freely between levels. Everything you did on the ground floor, you can do on the first floor. Except for swimming pools and paths, but that's common sense, right? The load-bearing walls of the building go from level to level as the base of the building, and you can't move them after adding a floor. Now, we could also put in a swimming pool Paths. Let's go to the ground floor. A swimming pool is simply a rectangle for which you need enough space to designate it. Draw a swimming pool next to your house. Good job! I think we might need some path to the swimming pool, don't you think? Let's choose a path, decrease it a little, and draw it to the end of the pool. After you mark out the path, Put paving stones in their place. Great! Let's check that we have everything. Amazing! Let's save this project. Call it how you like. be able to build this on any available level on the medium plot of land. The largest plot is huge, so lots of creative fun ahead. However, if you don't want to spend time designing houses, you can use the random option. See you later!